Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about what is probably one of the worst takes I've ever seen regarding Halo, the future of Halo, and it comes from somebody that I wouldn't actually think would have a take like this, and I think I understand like the reasoning behind it as well, but even then, like every time I get on Twitter with how it's structured now and how people can get paid for having like super controversial tweets and hate bait and all that other stuff, that like I have to be like, is this a real thing or not? So it can be exhausting. But before we get started, two things. The first is I definitely want to know your opinions, like your actual real opinions down in the comments down below. Because honestly, maybe I'm just seeing this from a different point of view. Maybe I just, I'm, I'm thinking that the community would feel one way and maybe you all feel a different way. So it'll be enlightening for me. The second thing is, what in the world have you all been doing you have been absolutely destroying the channel with support. These last like three videos have been like the best performing videos in terms of like new subs and stuff. I said that we could make it to 15K by the end of September. And honestly, that's a real goal right now because of how much support you all have shown. You've actually moved the needle down. I know I always say 96% of you are not subbed to the channel. It's gone down to like 93%. I don't even have an updated graphic for it, but thank you all so much. And again, if you like Halo content, you want to stay up to date, I am the Halo content creator for you. All right, so let's get into the actual video. Ryan McCaffrey, who is the executive editor at IGN, tweeted yesterday, Just a gut feeling here, but given the senior staff departures and layoffs suffered at 343 since Infinite has been released, and the fair-to-argue take that Infinite has not had the lasting impact a Halo game should slash needs to, I think the next mainline Halo game is gonna be a reboot. That was the first tweet. The second tweet was, that would mean recasting the voice roles and pressing the reset button on the entire storyline. Note that I am not necessarily rooting for this. I'd miss Steve Downs and Jen Taylor dearly, but I expect Xbox leadership will feel the best path forward for Halo is a full reboot. And while I was like, it was really the second tweet that got me. Because I was like, well, maybe he means reboot, kind of like what Halo Infinite actually was. But now, with Halo Infinite's launch, the story told, and look, I'm not going to lie, I think that the campaign had its flaws, but I think that it was definitely open-ended enough and had enough, like, lore implications that it could be a very good story, especially if they focused on it. But to sit here and think that Xbox, Microsoft, 343 would sit there and be like, guys, you know what the best thing that we could do is, is just flat out reboot the whole series. Don't even care about Halo Infinite anymore, finishing that story. Forget about Reach, forget about ODST, CE, all these things. Like you really, really think that just scrapping all of that, even the Bungie stories would be the best thing to do business-wise, marketing-wise, public relations-wise. You talk about it not having a lasting impact that Halo needs to have, and like, really, I feel like most of the people playing Halo Infinite and stuff are actual Halo fans. Like, they enjoy Halo for Halo and stuff, so to sit there and be like, yeah, just get rid of Master Chief, hire somebody else, have Sergeant Man be the new protagonist, and Mordana as the new AI, it's just silly to me. Like, you can't get, like, to be like, oh, it's not canon, or, I don't know. You saw how the community reacted to the silver, like, what is it, timeline for the Halo TV show. It's just not a good idea. I think that they need to wrap up Chief's story, and as much as I love Steve Downs, like, he is getting old and stuff. I understand the implications of that. He probably isn't going to be Master Chief forever. That's cool. But I don't think that you can just, like, end it unanswered with no bow on the top i feel like you have to finish that story before you can even think about doing like another mainline protagonist story like personally i love jerome from red team i i love his character and whatnot i think that he could be a good um conduit for like the next evolution but really i feel like it's it, you either gotta like put halo 200 years in the future or do like a super like prequel kind of thing like before reach and stuff like in that time because i i agree i think 
eventually we're going to have to move on from the Master Chief and the story. I don't think a ton of people would love if like there was a new voice and stuff. It's just like that is who Master Chief is. I think across all different types of media, we've seen like actors or voiced actors try to take over these iconic roles from other franchises and people are like, absolutely not. I hate it. Whether it's valid or not, you know, maybe the actor does a really good job, but I just don't think it's smart. I think if anything, you just need a brand new protagonist. I don't know. Again, it just doesn't feel smart to me, especially with how the like last few releases have gone. It's just, I don't know. Seems silly. Now, there were a lot of people that, you know, went to the comments and really let Ryan have it. I don't think that he thought it was going to be like that. And maybe it was just for engagement. Who knows? But honestly, I guess, like, I look at, like, Call of Duty, and they're basically rebooting Modern Warfare stuff, I guess, kind of. It's, like, the same character. I don't really know. I don't play Call of Duty like that. You know, some people would argue, like, Star Wars is kind of being rebooted, but I don't really see that. But yeah, it's just, it feels like that would be super disingenuous to the franchise and the fan base. But again, let me know in the comments down below how you all feel. I really am interested... To know like what the community's thought process on this is. If you've made it this far into the video and you don't want to put your comments down below, but you want to help out the channel, just leave Jerome in the comments and leave a like on the video. It greatly helps me out. You guys have been killing it, like I said, really putting me out into the algorithm and helping the channel grow. So I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!